Hi, everyone. It's Front Row Phyllis. The beloved Christmas movie turned musical tells the story of Buddy the Elf, who discovered that he is really a human raised as an elf. Elf the musical follows Buddy's journey as he travels from the North Pole to New York City in search of his birth father. On his quest to find his dad, he makes sure to spread the true meaning of Christmas and all of the Christmas cheer along the way. The musical adaptation puts a new spin on the well-known Christmas movie and will be sure to bring the joy and of the holidays to everyone in the audience. And joining us today are some of the cast, Ben Dow, who plays Buddy the L, and Sean Fortunato, who plays Buddy's dad. Welcome, guys, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Oh, thank you so much uh, for having us. You know, how have you guys created your own sense of style with the show? I think what's so interesting about the, um, the movie to musical adaptation is it obviously has so much more, like so many different things and it's a little longer. It's got more um, things added into it. And I think that um, when portraying such like iconic characters from such a beloved Christmas movie, it's, it's, you know, it's super important to try to find things that, you know, the audience can relate to and going on and be like, oh yeah, the movie, but also being like, oh, you know, it's really tricky to tricky sometimes to do, you know, what, um, the people in the movie did because all of them are geniuses. And so, um, being able to like build and create your own thing from there is tricky, but it's, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. I, I come at it the same way that I would come at doing Shakespeare or doing a contemporary play that is a, a new piece in that, uh, you know, we're still just trying to find out who these guys are and why they're doing what they're doing. Um, but uh, luckily they're in really funny situations. So that does a lot of the work for us if we play sincerely what's going on for those guys. Um, but we're also lucky, like, that we've just got a fantastic group of really funny people and really fun people. So it makes it uh, that much more exciting to get to play it out. And uh, and something we've got uh, with Ben is that he's just so naturally kind and he's the kind of person that you root for, um, which, is, which is important when right. the character is someone who is, you know, kind of drives people crazy. Uh, at least this guy drives crazy. Oh, Sean, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh, you know what's so great is that you can actually feel and see the chemistry between the cast on when you're sitting in the audience, which is really, it's kudos to you guys to do that because, you know, not every cast and not every play and not every performance is like that. And you can see that and you can feel that when, with you guys. So definitely. I've got to say, um, what's unusual is like for me, what's unusual is doing a show like this and the fact that I haven't worked with most of the cast and okay. like people that I have worked with, like Lydia, I don't get to spend any time on stage with Lydia, who plays Jovi. I don't get to really have scenes with her. Um, but but luckily, there are people that I there are people who I've liked and admired their work for a long time like Melody Betts, who plays my wife, who's fantastic, yeah. and just yeah. so much fun and so funny. Uh, and so Mariah, funny. right, and Mariah, who's uh, dad, my secretary, who also crazy fun, crazy funny people. Yeah. We're, we're really lucky with the, the people we have in the group. Do you guys have a favorite, um, and I'm sure it's different, do you have a favorite scene? I would have to say, right now, there's a tie. Um, I really love the finale sequence when we're all coming in and Santa Claus is flying by and we all get to kind of come together and just you start to feel like all of these things that Buddy wishes when he comes across and he's like slammed with reality and seeing all these people like get into their Christmas spirit. I think it's a really special moment for him. Um, and it's a special moment for me to watch all these people that you've been trying to like get into the Christmas spirit, finally like find that love. And it's really, really awesome. Um, and I mean, nobody cares about Santa Claus is a show-stopping number. And to <laughs> sit and watch these brilliant group of dancers get to do their thing and sing with them, that's, those are two of my favorite scenes in the show. Right. I snuck to the I snuck to the back of the house today to watch Nobody Cares About Santa because I hadn't seen it in a while and I love it so much. Um, it's a really fun number. And not only are they great dancers, but they're they've created really fun characters. So you're not just you're not just seeing them dance. You're seeing 
it through the lens of these fun characters that they've created. That's one of my favorite things to watch. And then one of my favorite things to get to do is uh, to get to do my little, when I finally do the right thing, when there's finally some redemption there, just because uh, as, as fun as it is to uh, rant and be difficult and crabby, um, it's, it's fun to get my little, my, my mini Scrooge moment where I get to turn around and, and uh, find redemption. What advice would you give the younger generation trying to get into this business or wanting to go into this business? I would say see a lot and do a lot like see and, and when I say see a lot, I mean, see a lot of theater, um, but all and read a lot of different plays, um, but also do a lot. And I mean that in far as getting people together to do readings. I, I mean, I used to do that with friends. Uh, if there weren't opportunities for us, then you get people together and you create the opportunities um, and do a lot also means not just theater, but get out and live life and experience different things with different people. Um, because not only are you going to have a richer life, but you're going to be a better actor if you have real life experience and the more people that you uh, encounter. And so that's what I'd say. I love that. Mm. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of my points that you had already said is do a lot, do a lot, do a lot of things experience a lot of people and the only thing I'd add is just be kind be kind to people because everybody the cool thing about what we get to do is that everybody gets to come together from tons of different facets from tons of different walks of life tons of different things and create such a unique piece of art that we get to share with everybody and so to be kind to people and be kind to all is so important going forward um and it's something that helps me a lot in terms of just, you know, being able to meet people and meet and do all these different experiences and, you know, leading with kindness is something I always try to do. I learned is that, you know, you never know who's going to be your next boss or who you're going to be working with or who's going to be, you know, your next co, you know, whether it's a, you know, in our situation, like a co-anchor or a co-lead, you know, you just don't know. Mm -hmm. So it's always a good idea to be nice to everybody, <laughs> right? And, and and it's much better to go to work if everybody's nice to each other. It's exactly. Just, it's the truth. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, so the holidays are right around the corner. We know that. Do you guys have any kind of, um, is there a special traditional food that you have? I've got a funny one, yeah. which is that Christmas Eve now, because Christmas Eve, we uh, uh, often uh, for, for many years, we've spent with my wife's parents and um, we are vegetarian. Uh, our okay. family is vegetarian and they are not. So one of the only things that we find in common that's really easy is pizza. Um, so we have pizza on Christmas Eve and that tradition has con continued, even if it's just going to be the, my wife and I and our son will still often do pizza on Christmas Eve because of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love that. What a traditional Christmas. I love that. But, yeah. We have, um, I believe it is a Swedish tradition, but we have a food that we eat or we bring. Um, it's called cranberries and rice. Ooh. And it is a dish that we work 48 hours of stirring the cranberries and mixing the rice because it cannot be stagnant. It has to be moving all the time. So one person in the family is chosen to make the cranberries and rice. And it is split down the middle in terms of people who can't get enough and people who will stay as far away as they possibly can. Wow. <laughs> but it's the cranberries and rice. Oh my yeah. goodness. That's amazing. Thank you again. Elf the Musical is playing now through January 8th at the Drury Lane Theater. And you need to bring the entire family. I am telling you, it is one of the funniest productions I have seen in a very long time. Thank you, guys. Happy Thank holidays. So Thank, Thank you so much. Happy, happy holidays. holidays.